So my name is Matthias Ullen. I'm a professor at the Royal Institute of Technology here in Stockholm, Sweden. So we have actually worked and analyzed more than 50,000 antibodies to human proteins. And about one third of them have gone through our validation pipeline. And we have actually then qualified them for, for, for the protein atlas. And we have found that if you use an antibody with several epitopes, such as polyclonal antibodies, we have a better uh, and higher success rate. So we are proposing five formal, we call them pillars, for antibody validation. And the advantage of these pillars are that they are independent of what, uh, any prior knowledge of the target. You can use them and you can use them in, in an application-specific manner. So it's very important to distinguish between reproducibility on one side and specificity and validation on the other side. And I think it's very important to point out that no antibody is completely specific. If you have enough of other proteins, you will have off-target binding. So it's, it's, um, it's very much a context-dependent type of, of binding. So my name is Caroline Kampf, and I'm the CSO at, of Atlas Antibodies. Antibody validation and reproducibility has always been a top priority for us. We are now adding formal validation to our antibodies in application-specific manner. And the close collaboration that we have with the Human Protein Atlas has given us a good understanding in the challenges that the researchers are facing when working with immune histochemistry. And since this is not a quantitative method, our team is performing manual analysis to ensure specificity. For IHC, we are performing validation by using two independent antibodies. And another validation method that we are using is to compare the antibody staining towards the protein levels detected by MS or RNA-seq. And transparency is also of great importance for us, therefore we are openly sharing the antibody staining and the antigen sequence. My name is Elian Kunze and I work as a lab engineer and I'm part of the Atlas Antibodies Quality Control Team. We perform immunohistochemistry on a large number of human tissues using tissue microarrays. We cut the, the TMAs and then you get consecutive sections and you test the, the antibody and to ensure reproducibility we compare the tested lot to a reference lot on consecutive sections. The main focus for us in the quality control team is to ensure that each new lot works the same way as the previous one in all applications that the antibody is approved for. Now the antibody is validated, guaranteed and ready for the next step in its journey to be used by you in your research. <laughs>